Cosmetics. Substances applied to the body to change appearance or fragrance. Cosmetics are composed of mixtures of chemical compounds derived from either natural sources or synthetically created ones. Cosmetics have various purposes, including personal and skin care. They can also be used to conceal blemishes and enhance natural features, such as the eyebrows and eyelashes. Makeup can also add color to a person's face, or change the appearance of the face entirely to resemble a different person, creature, or object. People have used cosmetics for thousands of years for skin care and appearance enhancement. Visible cosmetics for women and men have gone in and out of fashion over the centuries. Some early forms of cosmetics used harmful ingredients such as lead that caused serious health problems and sometimes resulted in death. Modern commercial cosmetics are generally tested for safety but may contain controversial ingredients, such as per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAs, formaldehyde releasers, and ingredients that cause allergic reactions. The European Union and regulatory agencies around the world have stringent regulations for cosmetics. In the United States, cosmetic products and ingredients do not require FDA approval. Some countries have banned using animals for cosmetic testing. Definition and Etymology The word cosmetics is derived from the Greek cosmetic techni, cosmetic techna, meaning technique of dress and ornament, from cosmetikos, cosmetikos, skilled in ordering or arranging, and from cosmos, cosmos, meaning order, and ornament. Though the legal definition of cosmetics in most countries is broader, in some Western countries, cosmetics are commonly taken to mean only makeup products, such as lipstick, mascara, eyeshadow, foundation, blush, highlighter, bronzer, and several other product types. Clarification needed. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, which regulates cosmetics, defines cosmetics as products, intended to be applied to the human body for cleansing, beautifying, promoting attractiveness, or altering the appearance without affecting the body's structure or functions. This broad definition includes any material intended for use as an ingredient in a cosmetic product, with the FDA specifically excluding pure soap from this category. Use. Cosmetics designed for skin care may be used to cleanse, exfoliate and protect the skin, as well as replenish it, through the use of body lotions, cleansers, toners, serums, moisturizers, eye creams, retinol, and balms. Cosmetics designed for more general personal care, such as shampoo, soap, and body wash, can be used to clean the body. Cosmetics designed to enhance one's appearance, makeup, can be used to conceal blemishes, enhance one's natural features, or add color to a person's face. In some cases, more extreme forms of makeup are used for performances, fashion shows, and people in costume and can change the appearance of the face entirely to resemble a different person, creature, or object. Techniques for changing appearance include contouring, which aims to give shape to an area of the face. Cosmetics can also be designed to add fragrance to the body. Products used for hair care, such as permanent waves, hair colors, and hairsprays, are classified as cosmetic products as well. History Cosmetics have been in use for thousands of years, with ancient Egyptians and Sumerians using them. In Europe, the use of cosmetics continued into the Middle Ages, where the face was whitened and the cheeks rouged, though attitudes towards cosmetics varied throughout time, with the use of cosmetics being openly frowned upon at many points in Western history. Regardless of the changes in social attitudes towards cosmetics, ideals of appearance were occasionally achieved through the use of cosmetics by many. According to one source, early major developments in cosmetics include Coal used by ancient Egyptians Castor oil also used in ancient Egypt as a protective balm Skin creams made of beeswax, olive oil, and rose water, described by the Romans Vaseline and lanolin in the 19th century Historically, the absence of regulation of the manufacture and use of cosmetics, as well as the absence of scientific knowledge regarding the effects of various compounds on the human body for much of this time period, led to a number of negative effects upon those who used cosmetics, including deformities, blindness, and, in some cases, death. Although harmless products were used, such as berries and beetroot, many cosmetic products available at this time were still chemically dubious and even poisonous. Examples of the prevalent usage of harmful cosmetics include the use of ceruse, white lead, throughout a number of different cultures, such as during the Renaissance in the West, and blindness caused by the mascara lash lure during the early 20th century. During the 19th century, there was a high number of incidents of lead poisoning due to the fashion for red and white lead makeup and powder, leading to swelling and inflammation of the eyes, weakened tooth enamel, and blackened skin, with heavy use known to lead to death. 
Usage of white lead was not confined only to the West, with the white Japanese face makeup known as Oshiroi also produced using white lead. In the second part of the 19th century, scientific advances in the production of makeup led to the creation of makeup free of hazardous substances such as lead, citation needed. Throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, changes in the prevailing attitudes towards cosmetics led to a wider expansion of the cosmetics industry. In 1882, English actress and socialite Lily Langtree became the poster girl for Pairs of London, making her the first celebrity to endorse a commercial product. She allowed her name to be used on face powders and skin products. During the 1910s, the market in the U.S. was developed by figures such as Elizabeth Arden, Helena Rubinstein, and Max Factor. These firms were joined by Revlon just before World War II and Estee Lauder just after. By the middle of the 20th century, cosmetics were in widespread use by women in nearly all industrial societies around the world, with the cosmetics industry becoming a multi-billion dollar enterprise by the beginning of the 21st century. The wider acceptance of the use of cosmetics led some to see makeup as a tool used in the oppression and subjection of women to unfair societal standards. In 1968, at the feminist Miss America protest, protesters symbolically threw a number of feminine products into a freedom trash can, with cosmetics among the items the protesters called instruments of female torture and accoutrements of what they perceived to be enforced femininity. As of 2016, the world's largest cosmetics company is L'Oreal, founded by Eugene Schuler in 1909 as the French harmless hair coloring company, now owned by Lilian Bedencourt 26% and Nestlé 28%. The remaining 46% is is traded publicly. Although modern makeup has been traditionally used mainly by women, men also use makeup to enhance their own facial features or cover blemishes and dark circles. The negative stigma of men wearing makeup in countries such as the United States has weakened over the years, with the number of men using makeup increasing in the 21st century. Cosmetics brands have increasingly targeted men in the sale of cosmetics, with some products targeted specifically at men. Lead has been used as a makeup product since the 18th century. It is said to be lethal to women who apply it daily to achieve a pale complexion representing nobility, as tanner skin represents the working class. Lead can be detrimental to people's health and cause death if mixed with vinegar which it allows lead to be absorbed through the skin.